Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Rayman 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. We are fighting some pirates that Lobax is too scared to go past. Or we're fighting a pirate, rather. So we definitely want to lock on. This guy has a bit more health, so let's try that new power that we got. We can charge our fists. And three charge shots would do the trick. We didn't even need to land that first normal hit. But there's a laser wall we can't get past, so let's go get Glowbox. Glowbox, the mean pirates are gone. I'm not gonna lure you back there again without fighting them. I actually fought them this time. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> now go short out these lasers. All right. Got a checkpoint, got a lum, and got another pirate. It's gonna scare Glowbox away. All right, don't worry, the scary pirate is gone. Come on, you fought some pirates with your rain dance before and rusted them. So now, if we head on up here, we can swing on this purple lum. Break open that cage and get this super yellow lum. There'd better be two more lums in that door. But they won't let us in if they see us on that little lookout thing, on that spotlight. I don't think there are more lums in there. Man, that concerns me. Where could I have missed some? Those two lumps had better be in there. Because the teensy cage doesn't give you any lumps, does it? Anyways, let's just have Globex come over and do his rain dance on this bush. The guard doesn't really care about seeing Glowbox, but he does care about seeing Rayman, so let's just hop in this bush. <laughs> Identification underway. Everything's okay. It's just a big nosed bush. Door deactivated. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, I can't come with you. My darling Uglet wants to see me. That's Globax's wife, Uglet. Okay, good. There were lums in there. So yeah, I guess we'll see Globax and Uglet later. For now, we are done with the canopy and we have more bonus round. No. Well, let's see if we can do this. This pretty little fairy has gifts for Rayman, but he's not gonna get them. He always stops there no matter what you do, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Come on. Catch up, little Gobax kid. No! 
Yeah, this is ridiculous, and this isn't even anywhere near the hardest one. This is, like, difficulty two or three out of, like, five. I think this is difficulty two out of five. Anyways, let's get back to the Isle of Doors. So let's stay far away from those little bonus games. And we can move on to Whale Bay, but let, it's, this time let's not forget to go back to the Globox Village, because it's been forever since we've got our second Globe Crystal. So let's go! Now, I assume that we also have enough lums for more info. Alright, that's the last one we heard. Polokis then created the Teen Seas. Their role is to unveil all the roads in the world. They know every secret passage and can lead you to the Isle of Doors, where all paths eventually come together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole world that this game takes place in is called the Fairy Glade. Or no wait, that's the first level. It's the Glade of Dreams, that's right. Uh, the first full length level, but yeah, the, the world that this game takes place in is the Glade of Dreams. And the Isle of Doors is actually shaped like the Glade of Dreams. If you've ever seen a map of the Glade of Dreams. So yeah, we don't really know how Rayman got from the Valley of Rayman 1 to the Glade of Dreams, and that's never really been answered. But it's weird how the Magician is a Ray character, like a Rayman character, in Rayman 1, but then he's a Teensy in Rayman Origins. So I'm not quite sure how that works. Well done, Rayman. Look what you've won. Good. Now you have enough crystals. The portal will open. Nice to have someone around, stay around here as long as you like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if there's anyone new. Are you going to have a break before returning to fight the pirates? It does seem like there are some new people. But let's just go in and see what we've actually won. Entrance to Pure Alums. So yeah, getting these Dreamcast exclusive globe crystals will bring and bringing them to the Dreamcast exclusive Globox Village will bring you to some non-Dreamcast exclusive mini-games. This one is Pure Alums. These, the reason they're not Dreamcast exclusive is because there is also a way to get to these mini-games in the PlayStation 2 version of the game. I am going in a terrible pattern, but whatever. You just want to collect all these red lums before time runs out. And I won. And you can try to get a better time, but that's it. I didn't mean to restart. 
but whatever, it's quick enough. I'll just do it again. It's not my fault I don't know Dreamcast buttons. Who knows Dreamcast buttons? I also didn't really read the, the directions well. And because we passed the red lum, we kind of messed it up. But we got a new record! But yeah, so with the six globe crystals, you could unlock three mini games. And we got a new person. My name is Bimbat. I'm a croquette. You, you have to accept me as I am. What about this guy over here? Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Brainox. <laughs> I don't think the Globax kids ever go to any of these other places, so I don't know what those other places are for. But yeah, so with the six crystals, you can unlock three mini games. And I think you might have actually been able to unlock more mini games if you hooked the game up to the internet and went to the. Okay, we're here. We've got all you need to have a good time. Bring the six crystals. I think we might have already heard that. I don't know. But, anyways, yeah, I think you might have been able to unlock like three more mini games by hooking the game up to the internet and going to the. Rayman website. But whatever website you had to go to is gone now, and you have to have dial up to hook the Dreamcast up to the internet, anyways. So, if it was true that you could actually go onto the internet and unlock more mini games, then I guess we're never gonna see those, because we can't really do that anymore. I've never been able to find any information online whether or not that was actually even a real thing. So maybe those three minigames were really the only ones. But we're not gonna get to play the other two until later. For now, we will go on to Whale Bay. As I mentioned before, in the PlayStation 1 version of the game, Whale Bay was kind of merged together with the, um, the Sanctuary of Water and Ice. So if we go this way, we got this barrel guy here. He's got a lot of health. But if you just keep whaling on him, you'll drain his health super fast, because... He doesn't have very many invincibility frames once you hit him. But the passage is blocked, so let's jump in this tank instead. We got a lum in a treasure chest. Be sure not to miss it. Of course, there's plenty of blue lums to keep your air up. And we can hit a switch from here. I'm pretty sure this little area was laid out a bit differently in the PlayStation 1 version of the game, but of course, a lot of the level was laid out a bit differently. Come on, let me drop down. So if we climb under there, we can get some red lums, but a piranha will jump up and try to bite us. Over here, we have the same thing except with yellow lums. And I failed at punching him, so I'm just gonna fail at avoiding him too. Alright, got the lums. Let's get out of here before we get our butt bit by a piranha. Does Rayman even have a butt? I don't want to know. Uh. 
So it looks like we got a pirate attacking us from that ship over there. Thankfully, we both have long distance shots. So he's not gonna provide any sort of problem for us. He's a terrible shot. Just look at where all those bullets are going. It also doesn't help him that he has really short rank. Like, not really short, really slow bullets. They're not really bullets, but really slow shots. Anyways, let's just look around down here, because the passageway down there is blocked with lasers, and we can't really do anything about that unless we find a way to shut those down. If we climb up the barrels here, we can jump out this window, and we can find a switch which will get rid of the laser field. Get out of here, crab! Wow, Donkey Kong fail. Super Donkey Kong fail. Doesn't look like there's anything up high. Alright, we will go into this next area in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then when we continue through Whale Bay. See ya!